ideas, opinions, and editorials. Ideas, opinions, and editorials. So if you see an article written by an expert in the field, and they will mention it's an idea article, or it's an opinion article, it will be their opinion. That's number seven. Study number seven is ideas, opinions, editorials, or editorials are written by the by the editors of a journal. They are all the same thing. If it's written by the editor, editor editorial board member, it will be an editorial. If it's written by an expert in the field, it will be an opinion. If it's an uh, written by another expert or anyone, that's idea. A student can write an idea article, but opinion articles are all, always written by the ex expert senior professors who have spent more than 20 years in their field. Or 10 years, or maybe in last five years, they have done tremendous amount of work that they have actually become great in the field. We have those examples. So ideas, opinions, editorial, they are study designs, but they are weak study designs. That's why they are at seven. And I'll talk about why in vitro is at number nine. Animal is at number eight. Ideas, opinions, opinions, and editorial is number seven. Why? Remember, the study that is least relevant to human treatment will be at the bottom of the pyramid. And that's why in vitro is at the bottom, is the ninth one. In vitro study is the... Ninth one. Now, when you will be writing your papers, the good news is you will rarely see number seven as an article that you will include in your paper. That's the good news. Now move to the next. Move to the next one. Number six case reports and series case reports and case series number 6 case reports and case series i made a video on case reports on how to write a case report i hope everyone already saw that that's on my youtube channel you guys should watch it so that you are capable of writing a case report so number 6 is case reports and case series I will answer everyone's question. Just stay with me, okay? Let me finish the study designs, then we will talk about the questions. So what is a case report? Case report is also known as case study. If it's just done, a study that done, the study that is done is a case study. And once it's written, it's a case report. That's the difference. What is a case study? Case study is when you are studying one unit. What is that one unit? Person, place, a thing, a company, a country, a city. We, we count it in place, right? So a person, place, or a thing, or a company, or anything that can be studied. Usually in medical field, the case studies are done on rare diseases or the rare representation or symptom or sign of a common disease. So remember, write down in the bracket, in case study or case reports, we study a rare disease or a rare sign or a symptom of a common disease or a rare treatment of a common disease or a rare treatment of a rare disease. That's what we usually do in a case study. Case studies can be of two types. Single case study, multiple case study. In single case study, we only have one unit when you are studying only one patient, for example. Multiple case study, when you have people more than one, but less than five. Although there is a disagreement, 
in the numbers, but you go with my definition because this is used by most scientists or many scientists, I would say. The, there is a unanimous disagreement. Nobody has come to a conclusion how many patients should we have in a multiple case study. So just remember, four is a good number. From two to four. So in case study, what do we do? It's an observational kind of study. We just study what has hap what happened to this person, this patient, or that thing, some unique features about it. And the hallmark feature of a case study is multiple sources of data, multiple sources of data. This is important. You need to write it down in bold letters, the hallmark the, the differentiation of case report with all other study designs is multiple sources of data. You will not just rely on interviews. You will rely on interviews. You will rely on patient electronic medical records, the files and folders, the phys physician history. You will talk to the doc the primary physician, I mean. You will talk to the family members. You will do whatever you can to collect information about that patient. You should have multiple sources of data. Otherwise, it's just a cross-sectional study if you just give him interview questions and you collect information. That's just simply a cross-sectional study.